that she wants When I bring her tea It's coffee that she needs When I bring her flowers She says they look like weeds um, basically, everything's normal, normal basic, up to count six. So we go one, two, three, and four, five. Now on count six, you might be used to going crossing behind backwards with your right foot. Instead, I'm actually going to cross in front with my right foot on six. So I'm going to put my right foot across in front, count six. Now what I'm going to do, hopefully you have some slip shoes on, and um, I'm going to take my hips and use the rotation of my hips to spin my whole body around until my right foot is now behind my left foot. I can take up the entire counts uh, seven and eight for that, for that slide around. So it looks like this all together. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're having trouble uh, with the slide, one thing that helps is to push out of the ground, make yourself lighter for the slide. So if I come up a little bit, I have a little bit less uh, weight into the floor and can slide better. So six, seven, eight. For my job as a lead here, her footwork isn't affecting what I do much, except that when she goes into her count six, I feel that she needs a little support here, and I provide that by counterbalancing just a little bit so that she can pull off of me to help uh, get the best quality of movement out of her slide that she can. Okay, So right there, I was providing support, and she was actually pulling off of that a little bit. We'll show again. One, two, three, and four. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Now I left home when I turned 19. By age 22, I'd made the scene. I'm the trumpet man in the Ike Jones band. And when I'm in the club, I'm on the bandstand. Now my story begins with a short introduction. Put a face on a place in the time of the rush. I'm gonna break down the guy's footwork. This footwork is half Lindy Hop, half Charleston. So your first four counts are gonna be very familiar Lindy Hop, rock, step, triple step. Now, for your next four counts, uh, you're going to be doing a Charleston with a replacement on the eight. So I'm going to go five, six, seven kick back and replace eight. I'm going to come up one and tap down two. Notice that my weight is on my right foot even though I've just tapped with this foot leading me into three and four. So in theory I can do this step without my partner even noticing that I was doing anything different from a basic. I'm going to do it from this side. We're going to go one, two, triple step. Now I'm going to pull her past me as I go five, come in six, turn back seven, replace eight, hold one, tip two, and come three and four around five, six, seven, and eight. So the follows my footwork is a little bit different from the leads. I'm going to do my basic footwork up to count five as if I'm doing a normal basic. So it looks like this, one, two, three, and four, five. Now at count six, I'm going to do a replacement step in which my right foot kicks my left foot out from underneath me. This is count six. Um, that's a, a kick forward also on count six. That same left foot, I'm going to kick backwards on count seven. So I go six, seven. Now on count eight, I'm going to do that replacement step, the, the, what characterizes the Savoy kick. I'm going to kick my right foot out from underneath me. I'm going to hop up on count one, and then I tap down two. Now to get back into my basic from here, I usually do a, a little uh, stutter step. I go and two, three, and four. It looks like this. So one, 
That's not what you did. I know, but this is. Do you want to just make this a lead style? No, no, it's okay. Look at. Can I can I do it with you? I'm sure I do a stutter step in it. I no, you I don't. Just just call the numbers. Okay. Uh, with numbers, it looks like this. I go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, triple step, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, replace, kick forward, kick back, replace, tap, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five. I kicked around this dusty old town for too long. Hard times have hit, prosperity's been here and gone. But now my outlook is rosy, cause I know I can be cozy. On a mountaintop where my journey will stop, next door to a candy shop. I'm headed out west, out where the living is best. And uh, this is a great exercise to uh, help practice your triple step timing and your bounce and uh, a couple other good things, We're moving the feet quick behind and in front. So uh, first thing I want to know is uh, there's three rhythms for a triple step that are basic. There's, of course, lots of things in between, but the three that uh, I see the most are one is a swung rhythm that goes one, a two. The second one would be even beat, one and two. And the third is this uh, interesting one that a lot of people seem to do, even myself. It goes one up, two. And uh, the one we're going to focus on for this video is going to be the swung triple step that goes dun ga da, dun ga da, the even one, dun ga da, dun ga da, and the uh, du ga da, du ga da. We're going to leave those last two out and just stick with the swinging triple step. So. Uh, there's four basic types of triple steps, and uh, face my back to the camera here. First one is the open triple step, where the feet are open. We go boom, ba ba, boom, ba ba, left, right, and the one, a two, one, a two, one, a two, one, a two. Very simple. The second one is very similar to that, but we have our feet crossed, so now my left foot is under my right shoulder, and we go one, a two, one, a two. One, a two, moving the feet quickly in the time in between the beat. One, a two, zoom, da, da, da. One, a two, one, a two. Yes, and now the next one would be an open to close triple step. This is a direction change triple step. We go one, a two, one, a two. Boom, ba, ba. And we can go behind or in front. The fourth type of triple step is the opposite of what we just did. Starts closed, boom, ba ba, and ends open. One, a two, one, a two. Or we can go behind, boom, ba ba. Now, you can take that open close rhythm and go forward or back, of course, on the other foot, boom, ba. And using those triple steps, we're going to uh, create a little exercise here. And, uh, you want to focus on keeping a nice bounce that goes down on the downbeat and try to keep it consistent with what you would do walking. Okay? So we're going to start here with a pattern. It's going to go two open, two closed, two open to closed, and then two closed to open. Nice and slow. A five, six, seven, and we go one, a two, one, a two. Boom, ba ba with the closed, then open goes to closed, open goes to closed, balancing, close goes to open, close goes to open. Then we do the same thing behind. One, a two, one, a two, behind, behind, 
one, a two, do, da, da, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba. Excellent. So after we do those two patterns, <coughs> we're going to do forward on the left, left, and right. Boom, ba, ba. Then in place, then we start back, back and front, back, in place. The last bit we're going to add here is a turning triple step. It goes forward and turn, forward and turn, forward and turn, forward and turn. This triple step <coughs> practices a, uh, a quick stop change where you can use this in your dancing to change direction really quickly. So putting that all together, we're going to have a five, six, seven, and open, open, cross in front, in front, open, closed, open, closed, closed, open, closed, open again, going behind, 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 one, a two, one, a two, boom, ba da, then in front, one, a two, three, and four, five, and six in place, behind, forward, boom, in place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now with a little bit of music. Oh yeah. Ah. Here we go. Starting with the open. Five, six, seven, and open. Open, closed, closed. Open, closed, open, closed, closed, open, boom. Open, open, behind, behind, boom, bop. Boom, bop, forward, back, forward, in place, back, forward, back, in place. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. All right, we're back here with a little uh, Takumi action to join the picture. And uh, we're going to uh, do this exercise now together and use a little bit of a sideways connection here where she can feel the movement. Ladies, you're moving more by feel than visually. So uh, try to feel the parallel connection here in uh, your shoulder when we do this exercise. So uh, we're going to uh, try it to a little bit of music. Using the same pattern in twos, doing the forward and backs and the turning ones at the end. Getting ready, boom, boom. I do that. Starting with the open go. Open, open, closed, closed, open, closed, open, closed, closed, open, boom, forward, back, forward, boom, back, forward, back, jungle da, jungle da, jungle da, jungle da. There you go. Practice those triples.